How is it going? This is Torchwood. This is Children of Earth. This is day four. So previously, we learned that the reason why Jack's name was on the list of people, the blank paper, to die, to be killed by the government, was because he was one of the four people who took that coach full of children to that remote location in Scotland and gave them over to the 456. The 456 have finally arrived in Britain, in London, in Thames House. They are in their special little cage with the gases in there so that they can breathe. And they've basically said, look, we will leave you be if you give us 10% of your children. So we've now got that to deal with as well. How on earth would you pick 10% of children? You just, it wouldn't even cross your mind to do something like that. So we've got that dilemma. At the same time, Clem now is aware that Jack is still here, he looks the same, because he could smell him. He smelled the same as what he did in the 1960s. And I think that's such a clever little plot point, actually, that he's able to smell Jack and know that it's the same person. I just think this series has been brilliant and I've enjoyed every single second of it. I'm actually quite sad that there's only two episodes left, including this one, because I would have loved like a 10 episode series, but I'm just gonna get straight on into this, let's go. If I was a kid and this was like going on, I'd be like, here we go. No thanks. All right, children, you follow me. What's in there? What is it? Just go. Oh, his accent's it's adorable. Really? I wonder why they picked those 12 children. Because surely your children said they'd have more than 12. It's the antivirus, just as they promised. Good night's work. Oh, Maybe Jack. the gods were kind. Oh! I. Killed a man. No, it's it, it don't worry about it. It'll come back. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> what would happen to our children if we were to hand them over to you? It is off the record. Oh come in. What? Come in. in there. The gas may kill him. This guy's dead. Yeah, this cameraman's dead. Oh, what if he boils? Oh, why did that even thought? Oh. Reminds me of a bit of Cloverfield, actually, the way they've shot it. I just had a thought. What if the kid's in the thing? And that's why it's off the record. Is that a child? Yeah. Where'd he get him from? He's one of the kids from 1965. Oh, shit in hell. This is unacceptable. We do not harm the children. Oh, my God. They feel no pain. So what is this? Do not harm the children. They feel no pain. They live long beyond their years. Well, that's okay, then. For what purpose? We have answered your question. You have one day to select and deliver your 10%. Shit. And if we refuse, we will wipe out your entire species. Yeah. Should never have built this box, man. But Jack, I know would have stood up to them. But Jack will probably have been seen as sacrifice 12 to save thousands, hundreds of thousands. That's how he would have seen it, I guess. Yanta, yeah, that's all there is. Where are you going? To call Frobisher, I can't make the call from here because they'll be able to trace it, is that Yeah. Okay? You're the boss. And just so you know, I have a daughter called Alice and a grandson called Stephen, and Frobisher took them hostage yesterday. He didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to tell him. I do think it's amazing how even though these guys are so close to Jack, they still know so little about him. We still know so little about him to this day. Make them an offer of 60 units and no more. Units? Not even children? Are you on your way home? No time for that, sweetheart. I'm afraid it's a matter of utmost national security. <laughs> All I, I can think of, <laughs> River killed a Dalek near those stairs. I just wanted to say I love you. Is he worried they might go get their kids? When will you be home? Soon. Or is it because Jack broke in? Look, I've got to go. 6,000 
700 in total. 62 from the UK alone. Be more than that now. That is not acceptable. Six, seven, zero, zero. That's our final offer. They won't more accept it still. I'll give you some time to think about it. Three, two, nine, zero, zero. Zero. They want 325,000. Oh, God, Steve, you'll be doing it as well. Children in different countries are saying different numbers. Oh, is that how many they want from each country? Two, five. America would be a larger number. China would be huge. It's confirmed. I'm just saying if we need to spin this to the public, and God knows at the moment spin is all we can do. In an age Fortunately, of terrified by the Capaldi's planets, not here to spin in this series. In the population. On the one hand, you've got the good schools, and I don't just mean those producing graduates. I mean the pupils who will go on to staff our hospitals, our factories, I'd have been the screwed. workforce of the future. Set against that, you've got the failing schools, full of the less... What, are they going to go the through, like, Ofsted reports? Useful. Should we treat them equally? Yes. So if they're going from school reports, all of their children would have been safe anywhere because they're probably all at, like, private Anyone paid schools. So they're going to be higher up on the list. We've got enough evidence recorded here to destroy every person in that room. Yeah, you do. And we can use it to force our way into Tim's house. And we get face to face with this thing. And get your family released. For the next few days, don't let anyone take David and Misha away from you. For whatever reason. This goes to you people listening in on the wire as well. Forget the official secrets act. If you've got children or grandchildren, you need to hear this. And you need to tell every parent you know. I found Jones. We can assume Hartness is nearby. Okay, let's go. I thought that guy would have just, like, not said anything. I've got to go. I love you. Excuse me. Oh, you stop it. I have something to say. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? Jacks. <laughs> so you're going to stand aside and let him do his job and deal with the 456 immediately. She got balls, this kid. Uh, I love these guys. Look at this dude. I thought he was going to be like, really like crazy and go against everything above. Hey, he's on board. There's a saying here on earth. A very old, very wise friend of mine taught me it. An injury to one is an injury to all. And when people act according to that philosophy, the human race is the finest species in the universe. We're making this a war. And the fight begins. <sighs> I knew they just wouldn't leave it alone. They would continue. Waiting for your reply. Action has been taken. Already? How have they done that? The virus has been released. It will kill everyone in the building. Oh my god. Uh, you know Jack's gonna be okay. Oh, mass panic won't help. If there's a virus, then there must be an antivirus. You are dying, even now. specific designs. What's that noise? Is that the kid inside screaming? I can survive anything, but you can't. Too late. I breathe the air. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be an antidote. You said you would fight. <sighs> so I fight. Take back, right? I take it all back, but not him! The remnant will be disconnected. Don't speak, save your breath. 
Gwen's probably wondering what the hell, like, she, like, kind of job she walked into with all those people who were there at the start, just gone. There's nothing we can do. So I was aware, obviously, at the start of this, that, you know, Yantor died, but I didn't know how. And to see him go the way he did from this virus along with everybody else in Tem's house, was just heartbreaking to see. And I never, ever expected them to kill Clem. But he said all the way through this episode, they know that I'm watching. So they, the entire time, have just waited and waited and waited. And they've probably known that people would say no to any deal that was offered to them. So they've just bided their time and they've said, actually, no, we want this many, many children. We want 35 million children. And then they've 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 one hundred percent known that they would be releasing that virus. Otherwise, why would they have brought it with them? They were always going to use it. It wouldn't surprise me if they were going to use it regardless. So even if everything went ahead and they said, "Here's the children. You can have the children. Everything's fine." I still think they probably would have released the virus to get rid of everybody that was aware of what was going on, like they did with the people Jack was with in Scotland. They were removed so that they couldn't come forward. I think they probably would have done that to the same to everybody in Tem's house. This was like such a difficult thing to watch and I don't even know what, what to expect next episode. Now obviously in that little preview clip at the end we saw kids being put on buses, helicopters and Gwen saying look we're going to do whatever we can to do this to stop this from happening and I 100% believe her because she's Gwen. She's not going to back down from this. We've got Reese, who I wonder, I want to know where he's gone where is the safe place he's gone to? And then on top of that, like I was, I was saying at the end there, it's like crazy to think that when torture was started, there was Susie, there was Owen, there was Tosh, there was Yanto, Jack, Gwen, who kind of came in last. And then obviously Susie went, Tosh went, Owen went, and now Yanto's gone. So it's like we've gone from six to two within three seasons. That's insane. I'm going to go watch the final episode and I will see you guys later. So thank you.